Hey Eric, what are we doing today? Well today we are going to be measuring our current through a circuit. Okay. And before we start, we will start setting up our digital multimeter. You'll notice that this is our digital multimeter and what we do is we have to first insert the negative post or the black into the appropriate port. This port has a black ring around it and so we know this is where our negative post will go. I've inserted that. The next step is to insert the positive post into Could I the see the end of that post? Certainly. Okay, good. And so in order to put this in the correct spot, we have to first look at what we're measuring. Since we're measuring current, I'm going to look into here and notice that this is 10 amps. This is our highest setting. We have to first start measuring on the highest setting in order to prevent any damage being done to the multimeter or blowing the fuse within it. So I will post this in the 10 amp post of the digital multimeter. And then where do you uh, move the, uh, the dial to? The dial will then be turned to 10 amps, which again is the highest setting in order to prevent any damage being done to the multimeter. Okay, now what circuit are we going to look at? We're looking at circuit A on our board, which is our setup right here. You'll notice that we have our battery, our three resistors, and our LED. Okay, so let's measure the current going through R1. Okay. Okay, so this is, is this, the, this is the actual circuit here. Correct. This is the actual circuit. You'll notice that we have our three resistors right here and our LED, which is currently illuminated. Okay. To the right here, you'll notice the battery. This is a 6-volt battery and is currently in the closed circuit, providing electrical flow through the entire circuit. Okay, so how do we use this meter to actually me measure the current going through R1? Well, first thing we need to do in order to measure current is we need to break the circuit. To do that, I'm replacing the uh, taking away the electrical flow into the resistor 1 and posting it to... So you're actually putting the multimeter in the circuit next to the positive side of the battery. Correct, because in, in order to measure current, the multimeter has to actually be part of the circuit. There has to be a load and so that we can measure current. Okay, now what do we do with the negative side? What we do with the negative side is we complete the circuit by posting it to the first resistor. Okay, and we are reading 0.004 amps, which is a current. Exactly.